Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's coming up on Halloween and this looks like we're come, going as Ghostbusters. Don't cross the streams, right? That was the thing. This is a laser rust remover. It is bad to the bone. A good friend of mine, Todd, came and he wanted to show us this. So hit the like button, subscribe and ring the bell. Let me know what you think. This thing is really awesome. I can't wait to show it to you. Now I'm gonna take this off because I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to be using the uh, the backpack battery version today too, and then this one just the 115 just corded version, and uh, this one here it'll run for about two hours per battery, and you can be charging another battery while you're using it. Um, both units are going to be pulse lasers, Bluetooth connection, and so you can adjust everything, kind of turn it on and off right here on the screen, so it's real easy. Cool. Well. Okay. Uh, we're not selling you any kind of laser remover. We're just uh, basically showing you one that actually works. I've seen them, uh, you know, scrolling through uh, Facebook and places, and I always wondered if it actually worked. I think they do. What we have here is a piece of square tubing that's been laying in the scrap pile. <laughs> it's, uh, you know, less than to be desired. Uh, and from what I understand, if you knock the big stuff off first, it does a little bit. It usually goes a little bit faster. We just take a wire brush, you know, just kind of knock the little flakes and stuff off of it first. And then we'll go in with the 200 watt pulse here. Let's see, got it set on 200. That's the big one. I wouldn't want to put that one on my back. <laughs> yeah, it's a little heavy. And then you have to get your standoff distance correct. So you see, if you go too close, it won't work, and too far, it goes out. It's just as easy as that. that and it's not hot cool. since it's the pulse laser. It's super clean. You can tell, you can see where the pits were. And it'll reach down in the pits and get all the, the rust and contaminants yeah, out it's of a little the pits bit warm. as well. That is really cool. Now, we've got some other things we'd like to try. Uh, we, we can see it. That made short work of that. I cannot wait to do this because this is an old piece of old fill pipe and it's just nasty. I, I, you know, when you run it over the grease and oil, I'm sure it's, maybe it doesn't get rid of grease and oil, but. It'll, uh, it'll burn it out and it actually has a grease removal setting on the machine itself. And uh, so we'll give it a shot on these threads here Ooh, and see what happens. Let me scotch it up for you. Okay. You can see it smoking a little bit more this time, burning that grease off. Yeah, it looks like it got most of it. A little clean. bit of grease, but. It is so clean. Wow. That is truly impressive. The next thing you have is a piece of uh, 3 8 plate that has a lot of mill scale on it. I was really interested in how it would work with mill scale. Let's see here. If you look close, you can see the particles actually getting pushed out back, so it's loosening all the particles and debris off of it. So it got a lot of it off. There's a little bit of mill scale left, but man, you talk about clean and ready to weld. That is amazing yep another thing we can do with it uh it's good for heat tent removal as well if you're welding stainless and you have your heat tent you know you want to make sure you get it off so it doesn't rust back if it's in a harsh environment you know okay. later down the road and get it all cleaned off okay and so this one here also has a non-destructive mode why would we want anything different so you can do the same pattern on it. The non-destructive is made to not make a, a pattern in the material itself. So sometimes it looks like a little lines and waves okay, and stuff if you don't hold it right. 
but uh, I'll show you. Go, all go down this weld right here. Let me show yeah. you the camera because that's what uh, would be interesting to me. He's going to run down that weld. You can see the pattern is moving much faster and it makes it to where there's not as many lines. And... Man, that is like something you'd see off a sci-fi movie. Wow. Okay. And now we'll go back to our standard wavelength pattern. Man, that is, uh, I wish I had more. Now we'll uh, try the backpack version out real quick oh, too yeah, on it. Yeah, yeah. Give that a shot. See if I can get that this put on. on. I think I All right. Thank you. Get it turned on here. Move our lens. Now this one, uh, you have to refine the settings and it takes a little bit longer to get the settings down. And so we would have to work on that a little bit and if we were to do a big job with it. So it's actually laser etching it. It's just a... Uh... Yeah, so it's a, it's a little small pinpoint light beam. And you can see in the pattern there, it just moves back and forth and mm -hmm. you can adjust the speed that it moves as well. So it's, it's all kind of different settings you can adjust it to to what you're working on. And uh, the use case for me is obvious. I would want to remove rust from anything I'm about to weld. Yeah. Possibly TIG weld, things that really need to be clean, you know? Yeah, yeah. It looks like you could run this over whatever you're about to TIG and then wipe a little acetone around it and you're ready to go. You could, and it'll burn off any oils, you know, anything that could be a contaminant for it. And it'll be the, as clean as it can be and also dry. There's no moisture left after this. So. And another thing is a lot of times you can't get in there, you know, because when you're taking something, it's going to bring whatever's on the backside up. Exactly. You know, it, it's going to, you know, run it. It'll draw it up into it. It's real hot. And you can actually use that to get and clean on the inside where you normally couldn't get. That's correct. Yeah. Like if I wanted to weld this, I could get in here and... You know, actually clean it up. Yep, really you can shoot the beam right in there. What's the other use cases? What is, uh, uh, what, what do you use it for? So we use it for a lot of different things, and it's not just for metal stuff. You can use it on wood, taking off lacquers and varnishes and stuff, and it, you can turn the settings down as far as the power output and actually strip wood furniture with it too. Really? And so there's a lot of lot of different uses. So oh, pretty much the only thing is plastic is the, what you don't want to touch. It'll melt the plastic. But. Can we try a piece of wood? Yeah, do we have a piece. Or? Oh, yeah, I got a bunch <laughs> of that cedar. I think it is. Now the only thing it really so you need to have something on it. Oh, in order to because it actually will not bite into that because it's not a particle or debris or anything on the surface it'll do a little bit but well no that's that's good to know yeah try that out it's first. just an old mirror that uh i wanted to see what it would do to varnish on the back that is impressive and now we're going to go try to remove the clear coat off of my old one time. <laughs> I'm going to use these guys while they're here. <laughs> okay, this is my old one time, and we've got some clear coat peeling off. It'd be really nice if our laser would just rip that off there and I could put some new clear on it after I wax it and get this stuff off of it. And I got a piece on the fender back there that we'll do, but let's do this one first. Okay.
Oh man, dude, that is awesome. You still have to sand it just a little bit. Yeah, it gets all the loose debris now is gone, so it's ready to sand and go back and paint it. Rusty chrome. Go ahead. Okay. Petering out. And you can see when you get into the shiny part, it's like it's not really working, but it's just because there's nothing there it's to clean. attack. Yeah, it's right. just hitting just the rust so itself. It, it actually uh, did a really good job. All right, guys, before the laser man, the Ghostbusters, before the Ghostbusters leave, I want to try it out on a jack stand that has got paint all over it. Jose's been painting on top of these jack stands, and now it's got a, a pretty good coat of rust, and it's, it's, it's hard to use. And when you need your jack stand to work, grab it, pull it up, and it's right, and it's not, it's a real pain, and it could get you hurt. So I'm gonna flip the camera around, and we'll see if this laser will do to it. All right, go for it. Okay. It's taking it a minute to eat through it, isn't it? It is. It's several coats. Yeah. Long. It's taking one coat at a time, probably. And those little creases are where that washer bites into it. clean. Still got uh, the creases in it, of course, but it ate the paint out of yeah. it. And the rust. Back down to the galvanized. I think it left the galvanized, surely. Looks like it. Okay, guys. Thank you for watching the laser show. This is Todd. This is Hunter. You can find them in West Monroe. They have, this is only one of their skills. They have several things they offer. Right. What is it? The parent company is ATP Results. Our work is primarily paper mills all over the United States, Canada. We, for the local market, we have ATP Clean, which includes the laser as well as abrasive blasting, chemical cleaning, all that kind of stuff, and also ATP Surface, where we do all kind of things, surface uh, electropolishing, uh, ceramic coatings, all that kind of stuff. So we're industrial. The main thing, the reason why I got into this is I'm a chemical guy. I design chemicals for a living. Laser does things I can't do. It's one more tool in our toolbox. Whatever the, tool, whatever the job needs, we're going to grab the right tool to do it. Laser is just one really cool tool. And this could apply, you could apply this to your life. You could stand out. You could bring this to your company. Hey, and we're not selling you things. We're not trying to sell you anything. I'm just, I want to show you things that could potentially, uh, you could have a tool like this too. You could implement this on your job, or maybe you buy, spend fifteen, ten, fifteen thousand dollars on a tool, and it pays for itself in two or three months. You know, I don't know the situation, but you're smart. Use your head, and find a need first. Do not buy the tool and then find the need. Find the need first, and then, you know, think about it. Go for it. Run the numbers. Numbers don't lie. Take a motion out. Run the numbers and see if you can put this uh, in, to work, just like Mr. Todd here has. If you do have some rust removal you need and you're around West Monroe, Monroe, that area, give him a shot. I'll put his email in the description. Thank you for being here. Thank you guys for coming. It's been a blast. Have an awesome, awesome day. Later.